Okay, we're doing a test real quick of uh, Swirly. I'm using testers paint, the enamel that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Walmart, the kind they say don't use. Uh, you definitely need to wait for low light situations with birds flying overhead, pooping all over the backyard. That's, that's great. Uh, and some water that I've already swirled in. So uh, I did do uh, dark to light and I am doing uh, using these scrap two by fours I already primered uh, earlier today. It's only about 35, 40 degrees a day. So also perfect weather for a uh, rattle can. Uh, I'm gonna do blue, purple, and white. I think the blue is a little darker than the purple. And I almost used all of that. I used some thinner earlier with the black because I thought it was too, uh, didn't need to shake it a little bit. Uh, with the black, I thought it was too thin, thick, uh, and I think the thinner just kind of messed me up a little bit. No need to use that. This is the cheapy stuff anyway. It'll mix a little bit in there. We're going to get a toothpick after it in a second. Go in, kind of lift, and go back and forth. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not a wrong way to do this. You see those really dark gaps? That's just the water. Those are gaps in the paint where there's none at all. Uh, I think the important part is having enough depth and enough surface area up top or when you dip whatever you're swirling all the way in there and you can kind of get the paint away. You see how uh, I didn't sand or anything, it's just rough and primer, just the, the primer gives it something to grab a hold of. They didn't do one side. All right, are we ready? I'm just worried about this side because I don't have a big, this is just a little five gallon bucket, so I'm gonna try to go in at it kind of at an angle. And we'll see what we get. Helps if you have a steady hand. Maybe not drink for two or three days. Alright, it's all the way down in there. All I'm going to do is just trying to swim it away, get it to the edge, and the, the paint will kind of skin up the stuff that you don't want to happen. I just want to make sure that's not happening right above where I'm going to yank it out of there. Even on the side that uh, wasn't primered right there on the end, I uh, didn't do too shabby. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to do this to uh, some aluminum boxes and make guitar pedals out of it. That, that should add at least $200 or $300 to the price, don't you think?